Hello, my name is Rosalyn, and welcome to Satisfactory. I'm going to walk through a couple of things here that I have done. You'll see up in the top right that I have unlocked the next milestone, industrial manufacturing. Now I want to walk you through a couple of things. One is, is power consumption. One of the issues that I looked at when I started looking at doing this was the fact that my power consumption is starting to creep up you know, near my max um, available power, which is I'm producing 2,400 megawatts. I've got 400 in reserve by uh, biomass burners, but I am definitely getting up there, you know, where I can, you know, most uh, available uh, things are out there. We can see that my max consumption, my production is, you know, is where those numbers are. And, um, I'm running out of power headroom. So one of the things that I got to thinking about was how am I going to get motors? Now you guys can see that I have motors because I've unlocked the next unlock. But I decided not to build a plant. Now part of that is, now I'll show a graphic here that what requires to build a motor plant, the way I've been doing things, is I was going to require, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of iron, it's a little bit of coal, it's a little bit of copper, but it's just that, once again, just like it was for the items to unlock tier five and six, the items that went up in the space elevator, it's items that it's just a random mix of little things here and there. And I have to build a fairly large factory to build motors. Um, and I wasn't going to build that many of them um, it, with a the factory that I would be producing uh, without building a huge factory. I wasn't going to produce that many motors. Now, you know, and the other thing that I have is I need steel I need iron items I need copper items and it's just a lot of things that I need in one place in order to do that so with all of that being said I've got two things I'm going to show in this episode one is I decided to do a little bit of box manufacturing just to unlock oil I wanted to get oil done and there's some things that I need in here so that I can build an oil fat, you know, build a refinery and get the next unlocks that, you know, and start unlocking things uh, and so that I can get the higher tier things and build a fuel generation plant. In order to do that, I had to progress. So I set up a assembler here that takes rotors, it takes motors, uh, I mean, it takes rotors and statters and it produces motors and it just produces them into a box. So I have items coming from a box going into a box. And at the moment, I've run out of rotors in that box. But this, you know, I'm producing the, the motors that I need. And I, I, you can see I have 100 that I will need for the next tier. Um, and then over here, the assembler over here is taking wire and steel pipe and is creating the statters that are feeding into that particular assembler. So... Like I said, not really exciting, but this is a solution to the problem. It only required two assemblers and a little bit of running around to fill the containers up here so that I could get the resources that I need. Once I had that, I unlocked that, um, went through the process of creating the motors and then unlocked the next tier. So I unlocked industrial manufacturing. Now with that, my next project is going to be to build a refinery. That, that'll be what will be coming up in the next episode. But for the remainder of this episode, one of the things that I was going to walk through was I've done a redesign of my storage facility. Now, I've done a little bit of work on my storage facility, and I'm going to show you guys the storage facility. So we're back to kind of show the redesign of this. So what we have here is you can see the resources coming into the side of the building here. Um, and what I did was originally it was coming in through the uh, opening here in the front. It was coming in on this side through that opening in the front and was feeding then into the boxes in the middle. Well, you can see that now I come in here, I'm feeding in here. I've got a little room in here where things are coming through, but I've got the th items being fed in from my fa you know from my factory along the side of the building on the other side of the building I uh, will have that I've got the same type of a thing you, you can see over here I've got a lot more items coming in on this side of the building at least well I've got six items instead of four feeding in on this side of the building and I'm feeding these items in here on the sides just like I was in the other place and then here if you come in here you can see once again I've got the items feeding in you know just a little room here that's hidden and got a mismatch of things in there and 
get just you know kind of blocking off the ugliness of getting all of those belts sorted and into the storage boxes done a little bit of work on the top of the building you know put the glass in and then on the inside i've come in here and i've actually put in um, displays to show you what is in so if i i know what is in the storage containers you can see wire cable copper sheets and so on and so forth and i've got a couple here that have the little guy and they're empty those represent the empty so i just put the little dude right in different poses there in there so this has been redesigned as something that i was working on just to make it look a little bit nicer you know and to keep it you know in line with you know, being, being a nice looking building, starting to make things look a little bit better and what I'm doing in that. So we've got some rain. I have the rain effect is pretty cool. Um, there are some clouds in the sky, but there, it doesn't really look like there's a lot of clouds up there. However, we do notice that the planet, which we were able to see, or the moon, whatever that was we were looking at, is no longer visible. So um, yeah, the rain effect now obscures the planet or the moon that we were observing so that's kind of cool i have to say i like that that's pretty neat looking so overall just walk you through here i mean this episode has been about what i you know how i solved the problem of coming in now and unlocking the th things that i needed the motors that i needed in order to unlock the next tier um, i may find that i need a few other little items as i go through uh, we are going to come back over here and kind of look at that um, and see what we can come up with here um, what some of the other milestones might actually require um, the industrial manufacturing uh, will require computers um, i do have some computers um, or it rewards computers i mean that's one of the rewards it doesn't require that uh, this does give me the truck uh, and things there uh, as well as modular engines and other things the alternate fl fluid transport may be necessary uh, this is one of the things to in order to get rid of some of the byproducts of the refining process uh, being able to package items up being able to package fuel being able to package some of the other things might be necessary uh, in that tier um, what, you know we obviously want the expanded power infrastructure this is one of the items that we want to get to because we want to get the heavy modular frames and we want to get computers so that we can actually unlock you know unlock this and get the fuel generators once we get the fuel generators we will be building a fuel plant in order to get this i will have to build the heavy modular frame I'm most likely going to do and the computers I will most likely do them just like I did the motors and use a temporary manufacturing facility to get those once I have those in place and can build a significant fuel generation plant at that point in time I will start the next process of building rebuilding you know kind of starting over with some of the things that I'm building to extract to as many resources as I can out of various different places and to build items you know and move things around a little bit more than you know, a little bit more than what I'm doing so that's the um, that's that was the goal for this episode was to kind of show how I solved the initial problem um, in my next episode I will show uh, the roadway that I'm building over to the oil fields and I will show the oil, the refining the initial refining plant that I use in order to get the unlocks the, the the plastic and the rubber items that I need for the unlock many of the unlocks in tier five and six thanks for watching guys hope you're enjoying the uh, playthrough series and if you've got any ideas or suggestions please leave them in the comments Thanks, guys. Take care.